you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on the brand new Monument Grills Denali Gas Grill. Now, full disclosure, they sent me this grill free of charge to do a review on it, do some cooks, and let them know as well as you know what I think of it. Now as of the time of this recording, this grill's not even out yet. So I don't have any specifics on how much it's going to cost or anything like that. They plan to release it next month and they told me, feel free to uh, record a review video and some cooking videos, but don't release any of those videos. Don't upload them to YouTube until we give you the green light because they want to kind of have it roll out. Uh, with all the reviews and everything else sometime next month. So by the time you're watching this, this uh, grill is already out. Now I'm pretty excited about this grill because being a gas grill, it's got some unique features that most gas grills don't have. So I'm looking forward to kind of putting this grill together, uh, checking it out, uh, doing some cooks on it, and give you my honest opinion. So stick around. I'm going to tell you what I think of the new Denali 425 gas grill. Let's get cooking. All right, guys, here it is. The new Monument Grills 425 Denali four burner gas grill. I put this together yesterday took me around just over two hours. I pretty much did it by myself. There was a couple parts that were kind of a pain in the butt, mainly hooking up the wires and everything underneath here. When I say wires, yep, you heard me right. This gas grill has a t two temperature probes and it comes with an app so you'll be able to monitor the temperature. I've never seen a gas grill have that before. It also has this big window. Anyway, I just wanted you to see it. Let's go over some of the specific features about it that so far I'm pretty impressed with. The 425 model is black, which is this one right here. They also make a 405 version, which is in stainless steel. And they also make a 605 version, which is the big boy. That's the six burner uh, stainless steel gas grill. Now, I'll give you a couple of specs here. 510 square inches of cooking area. Uh, and a 215 square inch warming rack. So total cooking area is around 725 square inches. Now let me go over some of the specific features. Alright guys, I'm just going to go over some of the features here in no particular order. The first thing I want to show you is it has electronic ignition. And what's cool about this is it just takes a double A battery. So when the battery's dead, you just put a new battery in there. That's kind of nice. Now let's look inside here. What I really like about this is this porcelain cast iron cooking grate. I love cast iron. So you can see there, that's very nice. And then here's that warming rack that sits on the top. What's really cool too is I got some little holes here. So if you wanted to cook some like uh, chicken drumsticks, you can slide them in there and slide them down and just let them hang upside down. Definitely cool to have that feature as well. Let's uh, take off the grate so you can see the burners underneath. Just to let you know about uh, when I put it together, it was pretty easy. It was very nice that uh, everything came in this nice little plastic container that was clearly labeled for what screws and washers you should uh, be, uh, need to use uh, putting together a specific part. All the tools you needed was a regular Phillips screwdriver, okay? So let's get into taking a look at this. So these are the little covers here for the burners. And I'll take this all out so you can kind of take a look, get a good look at this. All right, so these are the main burners. And like I mentioned, there's four. This is a 304 stainless steel. Very, very nice, okay? Um, it's also got a porcelain firebox. So hopefully that'll be easy to clean and it'll last a good long time. Uh, each of these burners is 12,000 BTUs. So that's going to be more than sufficient to meet your gas grilling needs. One thing I also really like about this that's very unique is it's got a clear glass window here. So you know what they say, if you're looking, you're not cooking. 
So this way you can kind of op just kind of keep it shut and look inside, see how your food is going. Very nice feature. Let me show you some of the other things it's got going on for it. Mainly here, it's got a temperature probe. So let me show you this right here is your temperature probe okay so this is going to give you temperatures and it's got a really cool app you can download to your phone which will also uh, tell you exactly what the temperature is so you can be sitting inside or sitting outside in your yard and be able to see exactly what temperature your grill is okay this will come in handy if you're trying to do something low and slow maybe you got one or two burners on on the side and you're cooking a pork butt or something over here that'll be de definitely nice so as far as the control panel you have on and it's going to show you the current temperature you can program a specific you know temperature as well as a timer it's got two ports for temperature and then in the middle here since this runs right now on four AA batteries it's got a USB-C charging connection so if you had one of those uh, battery packs uh, uh, and your battery went dead you could plug that in to power this while you are cooking very nice feature okay let me show you on the other side and another great feature of this grill is you have a side burner here so if you're cooking something on the side there you go also a 12,000 BTU burner so if you got some beans or something you want to cook on the side while you're grilling it's right there for you okay so open up the bottom here it's got a nice magnetic base here and this is your underside here and this is basically where you would put your propane tank it's also got a little uh, match lighter in the event your igniter goes off okay so that's also a nice little extra feature all right let me show you the one of the most cool features of this grill that I like all right right on the right side here is a little power button I'm gonna turn that on and this is a really unique feature although it it, it could be improved on there's actually lighted dial here and in, in, in the sunlight it's almost impossible to see which is the one disadvantage I found so far but in theory it's great when the burner is completely off it's gonna be lit up white when it's on max heat it's gonna be lit up red and when it's on medium heat it's gonna be lit up orange so this way in theory if you're sitting uh, across the yard you can quickly glance over and see it although I think you'd probably have to have it in some shade or something because I cannot see it I'll just turn them on here on max and you tell me if you can see the dials changing here in fact at this point I can't even tell if they're on or off let's see let me see when I turn it off all the way usually you can tell if it's okay that is on so that's supposed to be red I can't see anything let me push it in the garage where it's got some shade and I'll show you how this actually looks. Alright guys, now I'm in my garage. I just have a couple light bulbs on in here, so excuse that it's kind of dark. But now you can see they're lit up white, which means they're off. Okay? And then I'll show you here, if you turn if the if they're on full blast, you can see they turn red. Okay? Really nice. And then if you turn it down to medium, they kind of go to orange. So in theory, this is a wonderful feature. I really like it. The only downside, you saw outside in the sun, you can't even tell, okay? And I like that it's independent of the grill being on. You just gotta push the little button here to turn it off and on. So you don't need to have these, and obviously if I'm cooking during the day, there's probably no reason for it. But maybe if you're cooking and the sun's going down and you can actually see what's going on, you know? Just to show you it all here, white, red, orange. Great feature, just not quite bright enough in direct sunlight. I don't know how that could be changed, you know, uh, but like I said, cool feature. All right, guys, here they are. They're all on. Hi. Just wanted to show you those things in action. It's a little bit better in here. I shouldn't be in here with the garage door shut, but I just wanted you to see that's the side burner, and of course, it's fully adjustable. You can turn it down or low. Okay, same thing with these here. Turn them down, nice low simmer, or full blast. Let me uh, turn this off, get it outside again, and show you some of the other features. All right, guys, back out in the sunlight. You really can't see what's going on. 
These are the protectors here, very nice. One goes on top of each burner. Now they recommend here, when it's brand new, I haven't cooked on this, but you want to fire it up on high, you just want to kind of let everything burn off, any of those chemicals when they were uh, manufacturing it. I want to give that an opportunity to burn off and heat everything up, which is just what I'm going to do now. And then I'll kind of show you the app too, because the app is kind of cool. Of course, when you're doing this, guys, make sure you're wearing some gloves. All right. All right. Put the grates on there. Like so. Let's close this and let's uh, just let it heat up on high, let all those chemicals burn off. Let's turn on the side panel and hook up the app. All right, guys, here's the app. I got it in the garage again because it's really sunny outside. You can see it shows the temperature of the grill, 252 and climbing, 259. Uh, you have the two probes here. I don't have any probes hooked up. There's a timer as well. You can manually turn it on and off through the app as well, which is kind of nice. Up in the top, it's got a battery indicator light and then of course you can also switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. One thing I just noticed I didn't even realize here when you hit one of the temp temperature probes it'll actually give you uh, some recommendations. So let's just say we're cooking beef. It's got the little cow head. It looks like chicken, hamburger, so forth. So we hit beef. Well, here we go. It's telling you what the temperature should be. So you could just click what you want at start stick the temperature probe in there and I guess it's gonna beep when it's ready very nice for a gas grill guys never seen that before let's uh, see what else we got here we got pork okay just kinda of generic you know poultry yeah 165 chicken 165 these are all the USDA recommendations let's see what it says for hamburger 160 eh. Yeah, USDA, but a little too much, uh, too cooked to my liking. And what's this? Oh, I guess you could set a specific temperature you want it to be. How nice. And you can see the ring there, too, showing you how warm it is. Very bright. I don't know if you could see 543 on the gauge there on the, here. 547, it just switched to 547. So, nice little feature with the app. The other thing I like, which I haven't told you about, it's on four lockable caster wheels on the bottom. So that's nice. You can roll it around. Now the only thing I don't like is there's really no handles. I have a little, maybe a quarter inch lip from the driveway into my garage and I have to lift it to let those casters roll. I can't lift it from the handle here because that opens the, the top. And I don't really want to grab the bottom of this because this has got electronics on it and it's just fastened with around four or five screws. So I have to kind of reach down on the bottom and obviously if the grill's still warm, that's, that, they could have put some kind of handle on one of the sides here. Uh, I mean, in lieu of that, they have these little hooks here where you can hang some, you know, tongs or spatula, what have you, but it would have been nice if on the one side they had a handle coming out here too that you could just grab and pull on it or something, something like that. All right. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you, I still got it on, so I've got some gloves on, is it's got a slide out grease tray, uh, which is really nice. It makes cleanup easy. So I'll show you this right here. You can see how it kind of bevels down to the, the hole right there. So all any grease that you get from your food should go down there. And then underneath here, there's a little removable drip tray that you can take out uh, and empty your grease and then slide her back in there for easy cleanup. So that is pretty cool, I have to say. All right, guys, I'm going to let this warm up for another minute. We'll see how hot it can get. All right, guys, get. we're over 700 degrees. It's been going for 15 minutes. Pretty impressive for a gas grill. All burners on high. Uh, yeah. So far, I, I have to say it's pretty nice. 700 degrees. I don't know where when I would ever have to cook higher than that. That's also nice to get a good sear on a piece of meat, sous vide, for a little bit. All right. 
Let me uh, turn this off. I'll meet you inside, give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Denali 425 Monument 4 burner gas grill. I'm going to go over the disadvantages. There are not too many. No handles, first off. Uh, if you're having to try to move it up some stairs, uh, even like me, little half inch uh, lip between the driveway and the garage, not having some place where you can hold it, they should have something connected to the base of the unit that you can pick up and drag in. Uh, batteries are great, but batteries go dead and they always go dead when you least expect it. I like the idea of having a Type-C charger port where you can plug in a battery pack, but it would have been nice if it just had a regular outlet that you could plug into the wall, like a pellet grill to power the whole system. Uh, the lighted dials, really hard to see during the day. And a pet peeve of mine, they give you one temperature probe, you have two temperature ports. Throw in an extra port, charge me an extra 20 bucks, whatever it costs. Uh, I just can't stand that. Okay, the advantages. The lighted dials are a cool feature. Again, pro and con. You can't see it in the daylight. Maybe that's because it's just powered off of four AA batteries. Maybe if you did plug it in a wall, you can make some kind of brighter light that's visible in sunlight. If they could somehow fix that problem, that, that's, a, that's a really cool feature. I love the viewing window. When you're looking, you're not cooking. So not being able to have to lift up the lid every 20 minutes to see what's going on with your food is a big advantage. The warming rack on top, very cool. The fact that you can hang chicken wings on it, nice feature. The porcelain cast iron grates, I like cast iron. Those should hold up well. The four 12,000 BTU burners and uh, stainless steel, uh, 304 stainless steel that they're made of with the porcelain firebox. Hopefully that'll last a very long time. The side burner, great if you're cooking a side dish. The electronic ignition with the battery, I like that. Of course, the Bluetooth app to run the whole thing. They say you can go 65 feet outside or 16 feet inside. Very nice feature for a gas grill. I don't know any gas grill that has all these features. So overall, I would recommend it. And again, at the timing of this video, I have no idea how much it's gonna cost, but I will have links below, because by the time you're watching this, I'll have all that information. If you're interested, click on it, go see how much it costs. Of course, I could give you updates as I do more cooks on it down the line. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. If you liked the video, hit the like button. The logo on my shirt is the logo in the bottom part of the screen. If you click on that, it gives you an opportunity to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it if you do that because it really helps my channel grow. And I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, where I have all my video recipes, photos, and links to the videos, okay? Again, guys, thanks for stopping by. I have to say, I like the Monument Denali Gas Grill. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be doing more cooks on it in the future. And always, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.